Hello, everyone. Welcome to the market simulation call for fall 2021 release. I'm Manchman Vaidya, your market simulation lead, and today is August 30, 2021. Calls and webinars are recorded for stakeholder convenience, allowing those who are unable to attend to listen to the recordings after the meeting. The recordings will be publicly available on the ISO webpage for a limited time following the meeting. The recordings and any related transcription should not be reprinted without the ISO permission. We have the following agenda today. We'll talk about market simulation issue management for fall 2021 release. And we'll talk about the map stage availability. We'll talk about different initiatives for fall 2021 and their timeline. We'll talk more about the structured scenario registration details. And then we'll talk about uh, the initiative separately. And a uh, quick reminder about the system interface changes that are coming with this release, and then we'll talk about the next steps. I would urge uh, all the market participants to submit all the CD tickets regarding this release with functional environments set as market simulation fall 2021. This makes it easier for us to track these tickets uh, and make sure they are at the correct bucket. Any questions regarding this uh, issue management system? All right, moving on. Uh, you can log on to portalmap.kaiser.com to get up-to-date map stage availability information. Currently, we are planning uh, uh, Masterfire, ALS, Cyber, uh, UI and API uh, maintenance from 8.30, 30th of August. The Cyber UI API will not be closed for the whole week, like uh, from 8.30 to 9.30, but we are trying to close on to a smaller window, which I would be able to give you on probably 9.2. The BSAP UI and API will also see a brief interruption between 8.30 to 9.30. Any questions regarding this map stage availability? All right. Uh, somebody from Kaiso side wants to add anything to map stage availability? All right. Uh, moving on. So currently, uh, we are having structured sim uh, simulation for real-time settlements review phase two project and energy storage and distributed energy resources phase four implementation project. The dates are shown here for uh, when the structured simulation will be done for these two projects. Uh, currently, we have for real-time settlements review phase two, we have received some registrations from the market participants. We will. Uh, update our settings according to their selections, and these settings will be available on 9.7 to test. And uh, w once we review the results of the settlement uh, statements, then if somebody wants, if any market participant wants to update their settings, they would let us know via creating a CD ticket, which will take into account and update our settings so that we can run the scenario again on 914 with only for the market participants who wants to update their UFE elections. And I will cover that again when we uh, talk about these uh, projects separately. For energy storage and distributed energy resources phase four implementation, uh, we have a structured scenario date on 921. We are still tracking towards making that date. And for hybrid resources phase two way, interdice shadow pricing resolution, uh, EIM base schedule submission deadline phase one, uh, short long start definitions, uh, we do not plan to perform any structured simulations. Uh, they are all unstructured. Uh, the market simulation plan is available on the link shown on the, uh, shown on the slide. Any questions regarding these uh, simulation initi uh, initiatives and their timelines? Okay. Uh, moving on. 
All right, so uh, for real-time cellular review phase two, as I was saying, on September 7, we have received the registration details for this project from our market participants, and uh, we will be updating those settings for our map state environment uh, to run the market simulation on September 7. If we want to change any settings after reviewing the results of the settlement statements for September 7, then please let us know via C ticket, and we'll update the settings for September 14 to run. Uh, the success scenario documents and business requirements specification documents are available here for your review. And for energy storage and distributed energy resources phase four implementation project, we plan to do structured scenarios on September 21. And the business requirements specification document and structured scenario documents are available here. Any questions regarding these two projects? All right, moving on. All right, the testing timeline for, uh, for the projects with no market simulation, I, I should no structured market simulation are uh, from September 7 to October 1. Of course, it depends on when the code will be released as I shown in the previous slide and the dates. Uh, you can start testing for those projects when the code is available on the dates mentioned in the earlier slide. The business requirement specification documents for the four projects, the hybrid resources phase 2A, intertie shadow pricing resolution, Western EM base schedule submission deadline phase one, and short long start definition is available on this slide here. Any questions regarding uh, these initiatives? All right, uh, moving on. All right, our date of registration is in past. Uh, it was on August 24th, but we will do our best to accommodate for any more late registrations. If you want to participate and you haven't sent us a request yet, please send us an email at marketing.kaiser.com to register for this uh, fall release initiative. All right, any questions regarding the registration details? All right. Moving on. Uh, this is a quick reminder about the system interface changes, and I would invite trying to let us know if there are any updates on this. Sure. Thanks, uh, Anchman. So for the first item for MRIS for the OSI enhancements, we did take the maintenance last week for the implementation of this change, and the enhancement is available in the map stage environment as of today for testing. So we did have the tech spec that was published on August 18th, so please refer to that. And then note that the UI and the API changes are available, and we plan to promote those changes to production September 15th, pending the testing activities in the map stage environment. So please do take a look at that and follow our normal city and market zone communication process to ask any questions or report any issues. For the master file, Nothing new to add here um, for this master file change as well as on the next slide instrument. Um, those are expected to be available today for the start of connectivity. So when we do open up master file, you'll see that on the portal. And at that point, you should be able to see the UI and the API changes for the fall release as well as the variable O&M um, project as well. And as uh, you mentioned earlier, we do plan for cyber maintenance that's this week, and once we make those cyber changes, we plan to announce the availability of these interface changes as well after that maintenance. So when we have a more specific window, we'll update the portal with that um, closure as well as reopening schedule for cyber, and then clarify that expectation that those interface changes will be there for connectivity as well. And then just upcoming too, you'll see that we still do have Ion Oasis changes that are coming up. So you don't see those maintenance um, items listed yet, um, but those uh, will include in the next presentation to, um, to track uh, for outages in the map stage environment coming up to make those available as well. Thanks, Andrewman. Thank you, Trang, for the update. Any questions for trying here for system interface changes?
All right, just a quick reminder that this is our connectivity testing week. We have connectivity testing for only one week, uh, and we'll have market simulation starting on 9 7. All right, uh, moving on. Uh, we have that's all I had for today's conference. The next conference is on September 2nd at 2 p.m. And now I'll open up for any questions regarding uh, any CD decades or market simulation or anything we can help you with. Please let us know right now. My name is Ben. This is Ramesh. Um, actually, I just want to let them know that like uh, there is a WebOMS changes in the map stage uh, currently, and that patch is going to the production next week. So just in case if anybody wants to test those, um, they, are, they can feel free to test. Thank you, Ramesh, for the update. Sure. Any other questions? Yes, hi, this is um, Sandra Morris from Bank and Smud. Just a, a question, and I'm sure you've already <laughs> covered this, but I missed it. Um, what trade dates will we be settling? <clears throat> so we'll be settling 9-7 for the UFE elections, and then based on that, we'll rerun the simulation. If you have to update the setting, then we'll rerun it on 9-14, and that will be the trade day that we'll be settling, 9-7 and 9-14. Oh. Okay, gotcha. Um, and so, um, what information will we will you be seeding in the, the map stage? Will it be the, the entire market um, information, or what's the plan? So we'll be seeding the elections that you have made for UFE. Mm -hmm. We'll be seeding mm -hmm. that in map stage. You will see that for nine seven. For seeing the results or not. With it and you want to change your selection, then you could let us know via CD tickets, and then we'll update our the settings on our end so that you could rerun one more simulation on uh, 914. Okay. So um, the reason I'm asking is <clears throat> because of the unique situation bank is in, and I'm just wondering, will we be able to see the individual PRSC meter data um, from the individual you know, PRSC IDs um, that are underneath bank in the map stage environment? That's a good question. Uh, somebody from Kaiser site wants to answer this? All right, Sandra. Uh, Sandra, I think I don't have my SME on the call right now, but could you please uh, write us a CD ticket and I'll get back to you on this? Yes, that sounds really good. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Thank you. All right, any other questions that we can discuss here? Yeah. Hi, right. this is uh, Anshman. This is uh, right, Tony Gerard from, pa from Power Settlements. I'm just trying to understand for the real-time settlement review. So the trade days, nine seven the participants won't see the statement till about the following week and then they would have to change their election pretty quickly for the 14th i just want to make sure i understand the timeline correctly uh that is correct and if you feel it's a little less time then uh, we could shift the market simulation date by a couple of days if you would prefer that that, that would be up to the, the market participants. I'm from the vendor side, but I just wanted to make sure I understood from our support um, relationship. So, um, right. So, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> thank you for bringing that question. And let me uh, think about that one, and I'll get back to you on the next meeting. That if 914 is feasible, or should we uh, move it a couple of days? Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Hey, Anjuman. I have a question. This is Jonas from BankSmart. Hi, Jonas. Go ahead. Yeah, so just a follow up question like on Sandra is like, are you planning to use like prod data and just like move it over to the market sim and that's what you're going to be using in the settlement calculation? So generally, uh, we have a groundhog day, like, like we choose one of the date from production, we take that data from that day and we uh, 
simulate in our map stage environment and that data gets repeated every day. We are not planning to do any live streaming from production to the map stage environment that makes the data okay. change every day. Would you have the trade date though that you'll select for those two trade dates seven and fourteen and upload? Like what trade did you upload in there? What data? Uh, I could let you know that. Uh, we haven't decided on the date yet, but let me confirm with my SMEs and I will get that information to you in the next call. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Angela. Thank you. Hi, this is Amanda Alberti from Turlock Irrigation District. My question Hi. is, I was just reviewing the structured scenario document and it states that you have to submit your request by August 24th. So does that mean that we've already missed the cutoff if we are wanting to change our election prior to the market sim? Uh, you could still send me an email and okay. uh, we will we can consider and update the setting. You still have time. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Please send me the email at marketsim at kaiser.com. Thanks, I got it. Thank you. Any other questions? All right, well, thank you everyone for joining the call. We'll see you back again on September 2nd. Thank you. Thank you.